So if your whole team is ecoing and you're spamming mantis, probably your mantis won't do anything, and then you'll be way behind, and then you'll be useless later on in the game. Oh, it's 1v1. Hang on, central mountain pass and two valleys on the side. Central mountain pass, two valleys on the side. Green map. One versus one. I don't know. Right, Turbo suggested this map. This replay, sorry. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, what's he doing? What is this build? Uh, he's not building the hydro. Williamson's bridge. <laughs> True. Please don't look at my BO. Oh, nice. Nice move order there. Or nice movement of the commander. Anyone getting dizzy from this? Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, what is this build? This is not a build. Holy shit, this is so bad. Yeah, I know, you didn't give a move order. You just tried to build something that wasn't in range. Look, your your build is way better than his. This is, this is disgusting. What is he doing? And he's still just powering through, making the, the factory. He's like, yeah, damn, I'm really stalling power. What should I do? Oh, yeah, okay, fine, I'll finish the 99% finished hydro instead of... Jesus. Alright, well, we're not scared of, you know, Turbo and Esperanto in the end of your tournament, clearly. Nothing to fear here. I think they're actually training each other and lowering their skill by, by what I can see here. I think they need, they both need better practice partners. <laughs> 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 oh, the lab got through. There's nothing to kill, though. Two and a half land factories. Three factories for Esperanto. He kind of saved his build a little bit. Time to move though, he's gonna run out of mass. Yeah, needs a little bit of manual reclaim here. That's gonna help him finish the factory. I don't really like this guy. I think he's he was on attack move, is he? Yeah, that's kind of... Should like reclaim this and then come over here, reclaim here, I think it's better. Nexus has to moralize them to this. Is this lab gonna kill something? Oh no, the lab is here. Yeah, it's gonna kill a scout. It's gonna distract multiple tanks. A lot of units to the side. And Turbo's heading to the middle. Interesting to note that Reclaim is now Imba in on this map because Riptides are cheaper. So... Yeah, now the Obsidian has more mass on it. Maybe they're trying out builds. And for this one... The scout killed the lab. <laughs> they drew, did they? This looks really vulnerable. Turbo definitely has less units. Oh, he's got so much mass though. I think he just got the mid reclaim, did he? Still getting it. 
Yeah, they're sandbagging. That's that must be it. <laughs> I don't think they'll take my insults of their gameplay personally, you know. <laughs> I don't think either of them would be uh, proud of what we saw in the opening. A lot of factories. A lot of factories for Turbo. And he still has Reclaim in his base to take, so the only issue is the power is really low. Uh, oh, Esperanto stole this Reclaim. And he's definitely going to be killing this expansion. Another factory here as well. That's not going to... Well, even, even the factory is in under threat here. Is there a PD? Another factory. Why, why is there no PD? Why is there just endless factories? Another one. God damn. How many do you need? He already has seven in the base. Eight, one in the expansion. One more that he can't afford. One more planned that he definitely can't afford. And Turbo also stole Esperanto's reclaim. Yeah, very unusual game here so far. But somehow Esperanto sent every tank here and hasn't managed to deny this expansion. And Turbo sent like a few tanks. He's totally denied this expansion. Factory's misplaced. On top of reclaim that the engineer can't reach, so he'll never build that. Either way, he gets killed by a tank anyway, so. And this engineer is gonna be found and gunned down very unusual game Esperanto's heading down here not sure what either of them are really doing I don't get it Esperanto being really cautious here when he's had more tanks for the entire game that looks like a drop because they're all so close together but there's actually no transport so I don't think it is maybe just a shift G order Esperanto is running over this. He's gonna get really good trades if he well he can turn down here, run over these, or come this way. Reinforcements coming as well. The ACU building a factory here, he's gonna expand. Hmm. Uh transport coming up. Bit more power under production. This expansion goes down. And Esperanto has more map control now. Turbo also making his transport slightly later. Turbo's ACU is just out of the game. Not doing anything. Esperanto hasn't really done much either. He's gonna lose the factory he just built because there's Lobos here. So they should be able to, they should focus this down, I think. Although there's a lot of reinforcements coming. Mm, he he actually I think he could have killed that. Esperanto still fighting. A lot of reclaim coming up here, so he should. Esperanto should send his ACU here. Remove these factories, take all the reclaim, and then he'd be in a really good position. It, Turbo, meanwhile, has to deal with the. He has to try and cut off the reinforcements. Esperanto wants to fight, though, but the units are just going to run away, so I don't think it's the right option. He's allowing units to run past him as well gonna take some Lobo shells to the face they kind of half miss and now Turbo tries to hide his units behind the factory that's a nice move but it's actually not working I don't think well it kind of is working well no he's not really hiding by the factory yeah those factories are gonna go down now Turbo might well he just doesn't have enough units actually Drop from turbo to here. He doesn't drop up onto onto this plateau though. That would have been interesting. Esperanto is dropping here, here, here. Turbo didn't drop this max. And those factories are gonna go down. So please stay on those factories. Don't allow them to, to live any longer. 
And please start using the commander to reclaim. There's so much mass here. Let's try and make a PD. This brand has so much mass under his nose. And so much mass in the bank as well. He's really... Uh, it actually doesn't look that good. If he doesn't start spending his mass and start taking the mass that's underneath him. I think Turbo might be doing okay. If Esperanto does take it, Turbo is kind of screwed. But if Turbo can come down here... Oh, imagine an overcharge. Where is it? He's got overcharge. Where's the overcharge? Come on. He could be firing a second one already. No. That was... There were so many kills available there. So many kills available. And now Esperanto's running away. He's just running away. And he hasn't taken any of this reclaim. He's taken none of this reclaim, really. Well, very little. Hmm. Esperanto goes for the air fight. I don't know if he can win this. Yeah, yeah, maybe he can, actually. That looks like an air win for Esperanto. Although... The micro... Is maybe not that good. Turbo winning now. I think. Better turn now for Esperanto. Yeah. Okay, he wins it in the end. But it's very close. And now again, more reclaim left. On Turbo's base. That's very nice. The factory is almost complete. That was a drop, I'm sure. It had to be a drop, I think. Oh. Hmm, maybe not. Turbo still has this expansion somehow. And now both ACUs are fighting. In this position. This factory is left alive and look what it's able to do now. Get two engineers out and start reclaiming a lot of wrecks. There was a lot of mass here that these engineers have taken for Turbo. That's why you don't leave those factories alive. Turbo now taking... Oh, look at that. He dropped a low boat and two engineers. It's pretty nice. Then builds an air factory that's going to spam uh, bombers. Esperanto spams five factories in middle and then a PD. And is trying to take back various mexes around the map. Any T2 land? Or is it just going to be a lot of air for Turbo? He's got three air factories now. I feel like this is a T2 air game, and maybe a gun upgrade right now would be the real way to do it. Turbo has a lot more power than Esperanto. 760, 500, so... That means Esperanto's not in a position to... well, he's lost his position now. 2600 master. I feel like T2 air and AC upgrades are the way to to do it but turbo is just in a really good position now it's gonna he's gonna win there there's no way Esperanto can win it back without making I don't know 10 more pigeons first turbo maybe getting a little far ahead of himself Esperanto smells blood but this kind of shows you how desperate Esperanto is right now he's not sure what he can do and so he's just diving on the commander when he sniffs him out, but uh, Turbo's got enough units next to him. This is a bad fight for Turbo. He just deposited tons of mass next to Esperanto's forward base. He actually doesn't know there's a ton of factories. Okay. He doesn't know there's a lot of factories here, so... They're just out of radar range. Turbo with way more mass. He's got a huge amount of map control now. And I think these bombers might be able to do a lot of damage. As again, there's no... There's no air. Oh! Sneaky two inties appear. They're going to be taken out as well though. Esperanto could die here. Get in range. Get in range. Esperanto farming kills that he should never be able to... Well, it's just so risky. He retreated his units way back there. Esperanto maybe should have turned some units back and cleared this up. This could have been... this. There's no way he should have seven mexes here. It's kind of insane that Turbo has this stuff still. Meanwhile, in middle, there's 40 Mantis. 
sorry, 55 mouses there. Hmm. T2 Air maybe? No, T2 Land from Turbo. No economy upgrades. Just T2 Land now. Not sure, I'd, I'd probably be tempted to go for T2 Air and just make a lot of Janus. A lot of Janus, maybe some gunships if necessary. Just bomb the hell out of uh, all this crap. Yeah, a lot more power being built now for Esperanto, but his mass income is terrible. Turbo also with two and a half thousand more reclaim. And the bomber's gonna do a lot of damage. Quite a lot. Turbo is managing his AC really well and his units. It's getting quite a few kills and staying safe. This is not a good fight though. This was quite a bad fight. Bombers doing are, are doing great. Should target the mobile ant here. You can kill that with one bomb, most likely. Firing a bit of a dodge. <laughs> More factories for uh, Esperanto. This is going to get raided again. Another unfinished factory. The trick is to stop building factories and build a PD instead. <laughs> T2 P gen now. Next to the air factory. I think that air factory will go T2 once that P gen is finished. T2 land is up. Mongoose are coming. And still no upgrades. A little bit of a raid here. Single tank. And Esperanto is doing well to stay in this game. It's gotta be said. He's also doing well to have mass in the bank at this point when he has this many factories and no real economy. Like he's lost this now. He's gonna lose this. Look at the bombers though. Doing far too much. What a mess of a game. Turbo is out of position now. And Guess what? <laughs> Esperanto's ready to pounce on him as soon as he can. But with the Shift G, he's bunching up a lot. And uh, the bombers are doing a lot more damage, but look, he still has 20 Mantis left. 25 Mantis. ACU's still not in range, though. Still not in range. There's a PD here. PD's gonna save him. Here come the mongoose. And Turbo's gonna survive. This PD gonna do huge damage. I think Turbo, well, it's just down to a draw now if that's the only thing Esperanto can hope for. But I don't think that's happening. There's no way. He's, it's not even gonna be that close, actually. Esperanto's gonna go into the water as well. Assuming he makes it. Yeah, no, he's actually not gonna make it. He's dead. Turbo survives 2300. Drops a GG. Esperanto with the BG once again. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn nature, you scary one subscribed. Welcome. <laughs> well, Mozzie, your question has been answered. He did drop a BG. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, aside from the openings, which were, you know, dodgy, to say the least, but, um, yeah, when Esperanto had this area, he had all this reclaim, and he didn't manage to take it. And, uh... Hey, he dropped here, didn't he? Oh, this got bombed, I guess. He really... This was the moment. He, once he got pushed off here, left all that reclaim. Left a factory there so Turbo could reclaim it. That was terrible. He also never took this back. Like, look, there's nothing here. You know? There's what? One factory, few tanks, PD. 
this at least he rated this continually but again the, like he should have this he could have had this he had the units to do it but he just tunnel visioned in this area and uh, failed on that in that regard turbo got way more map control and just had to avoid dying to Mantis in the end. <laughs>